Welcome to Fiery Smart Support. My name is Emery, your virtual assistant for Fiery Specialty Applications. In today's video, I would like to show you how to install Digital Factory version 11.1. .1. This video is only for version 11 customers. Please make sure and check that your activation code is for version 11. If you have an activation code for version 10 please contact our support team. So let's get started. Open your preferred web browser. I am using Chrome for this video, in your browser go to our website, cadlink.com. You will see several headings at the top menu. With your cursor, hover over products. You will see five of our specialty products. Click on Digital Factory. Then click on Free Trial. This will display all the Digital Factory free trial packages available. For this demonstration, I am choosing the very first package, Digital Factory Direct to Film Edition Free Trial. Please note, this install process will apply to all other Digital Factory packages. Click on Digital Factory V11 Direct to Film Edition icon and it will download to your default download folder. You can see the downloaded files by clicking on the arrow at the top right or go to your default folder. Click on the downloaded file once it's finished to begin the install. Note, you must install the trial even if you already have your activation code. You may get a user account warning. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes to confirm. A new dialog shows up with different packages to choose. Here you need to select the proper one. Option 1, Digital Factory, only installs the RIP. Option 2, Digital Factory Plus Design Pro, installs the RIP and the Design Pro add-on package that contains lots of design functions and tools. Option 3, Design Pro only. This option is only needed if you already have the RIP install but bought the Design Pro add-on module. The program can then be registered after the install, but only if the correct package was installed for your activation code. If a different trial package was installed, you will need to uninstall the trial and reinstall the correct version that matches your activation code package. We choose to install Digital Factory Direct to Film, plus Design Pro. The install will take a while. Let's click next to start the install. The program is downloading from our website. And then the installer will extract the files. And check the file condition. Now, you are ready to install the software. Click on start to begin. In the first dialog we choose which language we want to work with. We will leave it set to English and click OK. The welcome dialog will open telling you what you will be installing. In this case it says Digital Factory version 11, direct to film edition. To continue click Next. The following screen contains the terms and conditions of installing the software. Select, I accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. Then, we confirm that we want to install the full version of Digital Factory version 11. Click Next. In the next dialog you can choose the folder into which the program should be installed. It is recommended to keep the default install folder. This folder will differ with each package. Click Next. The next dialog confirms where to add a shortcut in the startup menu. Click Next and the software starts installing. The installer will show that the Digital Factory version 11 Direct to Film Edition is configuring the software installation. When complete the installer continues by having the Digital Factory version 11 Design Pro configure its software installation. The next step in the installer is the font installation. Click on Continue to install fonts. All the fonts from the Windows Fonts folder will be installed for the RIP and our Design Pro software. After these fonts are installed, you can search your hard drive for additional fonts that can be used. Choose Yes and the installer will search the hard drive and install additional fonts. At the end of the font installer a message comes up to finish the font install. Press OK. 
A final dialog is displayed stating the Digital Factory version 11 has successfully been installed. Click on Finish. When you check in your apps list you will see the new programs are installed. Click on Digital Factory to start the registration as trial, or as full registration with activation code if you bought the program. When you open the program for the first time a message appears asking to set the display units to either inches or centimeters and to set the number of decimal spaces. For our purpose we will keep it set to inches with two decimal spaces. Click OK. Next a dialog appears asking you to register the software. Click OK. On the next screen, you can choose to activate the program as a 15-day trial, or enter the activation code you received when you bought the program. For this demonstration, the trial will be installed. Click on the words click here to register your trial. The next screen is the activation and registration form for the trial of Digital Factory version 11 and Design Pro. If you chose to register with an activation code, your dialog will have a field for your activation code at the top. Once the registration form is complete for a trial or full registration with the activation code, click on Register My Product. At first launch, if you install Digital Factory with Designer Pro, Designer Pro will launch along with the privacy policy message. Click Continue and the online help called Compass will open to the side. If you installed the software as a trial, a message will come up with the days remaining in the trial. Minimize Compass and click OK on the trial days remaining dialog. You can open Digital Factory version 11 by going to the file menu and selecting on Launch Digital Factory. A registration dialog will open. Click OK and it will use the information you previously filled in the registration form. You will then go to the file menu again and select Launch Digital Factory. Digital Factory will open and you will first need to set up a queue with the Create Queue Wizard. Click Next. Here you connect and set up your device. Connect your device to your computer or network. Click Next. In this dialog, you will install and configure your printer. Click Install Printer. Choose the printer you have from the list of available devices. Click OK and you now have a choice to search for new printer packages from the cloud drive or you can choose the location yourself. For best results allow the software to search the cloud server. Click Next. The drivers are downloaded and automatically installed. Click Next. Here you will set up the port where the printer is connected. From the drop-down your options are TCP IP, File, Null or Cloud Spooler. For this example TCP IP is selected. Click Next and Finish to complete the install of the printer driver. You may encounter a dialog from your firewall regarding the CAD link printer queue. Allow access in order for the queue to work properly. Once the printer driver finish its installation, Digital Factory will open. I hope you enjoy using Digital Factory Direct to film 11.1. Have a look at our other videos for more information on using the program. Thank you for watching.